You don't work on your art, your art works on you. I love this concept because it highlights how life and the creative process parallel each other. To excel as an artist, you have to confront the pieces of your character that are holding you back as a person. And after nearly 10 years of photography and 250,000 photos, here are five lessons that have changed my life and made me a better artist and a better person simultaneously. And thank you to today's sponsor, Professional Photographers of America. Join the community of 35,000 photographers and find equipment insurance and business tools for photographers just like you and me. Now, the first lesson I learned after all these photos was confronting my scarcity mindset and adopting more of an abundance mindset. Now, like most young artists, I started my career extremely fearful. Anytime someone was succeeding, gaining money, attention, notoriety, success, I looked at that person's achievements as as a threat to me. Essentially, if we had a pie, if someone was taking a slice out of that pie, it meant there were less slices there for me to potentially have. It wasn't until I met my friend Kareem that this mindset began to change. And I learned this lesson kind of just through observing what he did. You see, Kareem was always helping Atlanta-based artists. He was giving away his time, his network, his resources completely for free just off the strength of wanting to help other people out. And it always seemed like Kareem was just falling backwards into opportunities. He never had to go looking for an opportunity, they just seemed to find him. And by watching Kareem do that, I began to take the same approach. I started to give away my photo shoots for free to other Atlanta artists, people who were doing things that I thought were interesting. I wanted to help grow whatever they were trying to grow. And by giving away these gifts that I had, one, my skills began to improve because I was making more photos, but two, the opportunities began to just find me off the strength of this goodwill and this network that I was building by giving rather than looking to receive something. Now, the second lesson that I learned is the importance of compounding consistency. Like most people, I want instant results. I wanna wake up tomorrow and have a faster 5K time. I wanna wake up tomorrow and be the best photographer on the planet. But that is not how you reach your long-term goals. To reach your long-term goals, you have to shed this instant gratification mindset and adopt a mindset that approaches change as incremental changes that compound over time. 1%, half a percent better every single day. And that half a percent adds up over time to help you reach the ultimate vision that you have for yourself, which in the case of this video is some type of artistic or personal growth. Now, I learned this lesson through my photography years ago because I spent a lot of time stagnant. My photography skills were not improving and I realized one day sitting at the computer that it was because I had stopped trying to improve. So that day at the computer, I spent an extra 15 minutes on the edit I was creating and I shared that photo to Instagram and that photo got the most likes of any photo that I got that year. And I realized something in that moment. To get a result, I needed to put more in. So by putting more in and learning something new that day, I now gained a new skill. I made a micro improvement to what I was doing. And the next time I went to edit a photo, I implemented these micro improvements and did it at a faster pace. So something that took me 15 or 20 minutes to do on that first edit now only took me five minutes. And I had an extra 15 minutes to improve once again. And over time, these improvements compounded to the point to where my photography if I do say so, is much better than it was four years ago. And it's because I've taken this approach that no longer focuses on instant gains and focuses on making micro changes every day to get better, to eventually reach a goal in the long term. And I apply this lesson to things like my sleep schedule, my fitness, my nutrition. I recognize that change doesn't happen overnight and I need to focus on the day-to-day -to, -day to get better in the long term. Now, the third lesson I learned is the importance of presence. Distractions are all around us, especially in today's world. Your computer, your email, your phone, what's happening with your friends, it's all a distraction. And these distractions can cause you to go through an entire day existing without actually living. And these distractions and this lack of presence can manifest as problems in your personal relationships, problems in your business, problems in your workouts, your health. It can be a massive problem if you're just sleepwalking through life. And Something I've learned through photography 
is that the only way to make a good photo is to actually be present in the moment. That's actually one of the beautiful things about the craft of photography is that you can't make pictures if you're not focused on what's happening in front of you. If your mind is drifting off thinking about an email you have to write, you're going to miss the picture and the beautiful moment happening right in front of you. And this metaphor translates to every aspect of your life. And when I think about my life the last couple of years, I've had moments where I was distracted and I wasn't as present as I could be. And I make a conscious effort now to think about the approach I take to photography and apply it to my personal life. When I'm with my loved ones, with my family, with my son, I try to be engaged and be there and be living a life and approaching my day-to-day -day existence the same way I approach my photography. Even though a camera is not in my hand, these moments happening in front of me, they're important. Now, an honorable mention on this list of lessons is to be prepared for when things can go wrong. And today's sponsor, Professional Photographers of America, helped me do that with my photography. For much of my career, I was never worried about anything going wrong, and I never had the proper insurance for my camera gear. And this wasn't a big deal until one day I finally dropped a lens while out on a shoot, and I had to eat the cost of this mistake because I had no way to replace it. Now, as a member of Professional Photographers of America, I have up to $15,000 of gear insurance at a low monthly price. Professional Photographers of America also offers full gear replacement options with a flat $350 deductible, as well as data recovery services if you ever have issues with a hard drive, and they offer business resources like model releases and cancellation letters. You can check it out for yourself by going to the link in the description on today's video for a special discount. Whether you're just starting out and looking to get off on the right foot, or you're an established business looking to go to the next level, Professional Photographers of America is where you need to be and thank you to PPA for sponsoring today's video. Now the fourth life lesson I've learned from photography is how to relinquish control. I've learned to focus on what I can change rather than what I can't change. You've seen this time and time again through YouTube videos where I go out to make photography and something goes wrong. Maybe the weather takes a shift I don't expect. Maybe the lighting changes. Maybe a car parks in a composition and messes up my photo. Maybe people move in and out of my frame in a way I wasn't expecting. Whatever the case is these are variables that in that moment I have absolutely no control over. So rather than dwelling on these moments, I just relinquish that control. I say, you know, I can't change the weather. It is what it is. Today is a bad photo day. We're going to do better next time. And by adopting this mindset that we'll do better next time, I take control back over the situation. I am no longer a victim. I'm in control of what I can do and I give myself an opportunity to grow. And I apply this concept to my day-to-day -day life as well, especially now that I'm a new parent. I cannot control what this little baby does. The guy is crazy sometimes and I've learned to accept that this is how he is. He is doing what his little baby brain does. All I can do is control my reaction and control the environment to make sure that he doesn't hurt himself while he's learned how to walk or whatever the example is. I no longer focus on changing and controlling the variables that I can't control and focus inward on myself. Now the fifth and final lesson I've learned from photography is to not compare myself to other people. In today's social media world, it seems like people are posting their wins all the time it's easy to feel left behind, but everyone's life is moving at a different pace. Everyone has a different access to knowledge. Everyone has a different starting point. Everyone has a different journey that they're going on. And by comparing yourself to other people, all you're doing is diminishing the importance of that journey and souring the beautiful thing that growth is. If you are trying to get better and reach a goal, you should be focused on the day-to-day -day wins that you're having for yourself, not for the internet, not for other people, not for comparison. There's this famous cliche in life that applies to photography as well, that it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. But in my experience with photography, my favorite photo days are always the ones where I'm embracing the now and I'm embracing the moments that are happening while I'm trying to get from point A to point B when I stop to make that photo that I think is interesting or when I go to New York to do street photography and say I'm going to get to the end of the Brooklyn Bridge but I'm going to stop anytime I see something interesting. Those are the best photo days and those are the best days of my life because I'm embracing my journey and the moments that I'm having along the way rather than comparing myself to other people. But there we go. That is everything I want to talk about today. Kind of more of an insightful thought-provoking video but if you enjoyed it 
it, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, let me know you like these types of videos and subscribe to the channel if you are not yet. Big thank you to Professional Photographers of America for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, if you are a photographer looking to grow your business and get some gear insurance, check them out. They're linked down below. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Evan Ramp, the founder of ModernCreativeMoney.com. And this YouTube channel is for creators looking to explore ideas, make money with their camera and live a better creative life. So if that sounds like you, like I already mentioned, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I'll see y'all in the next one.